I just wish they would have called somebody, or he would have called somebody. Um, too late now. Tragedy in Laplace, the St. John the Baptist Parish Sheriff's Office says a one-year-old was beaten to death. And police say that these two people right here, the baby's mother and her boyfriend, have been arrested in the child's murder. WDSU reporter Eli Brand has more on the details leading to the incident. And we do want to warn you that the details in this case are disturbing. Eli. Yeah, Robinson was charged with second degree murder and is being held on a $300,000 bond while the child's mother is also being held on accessory to second degree mother when Sheriff Mike Tragg says she did not reveal to his office that she knew this had happened, even though Robinson admitted he did it. He said the baby would not stop crying, so he grabbed the baby and slammed the baby on the floor uh, multiple times and even struck this one-year-old little girl struck her head on the bedpost and put her back in the bed. Crime scene investigators were still on scene on Revere Drive Tuesday collecting evidence in the alleged murder. St. John Parish Sheriff Mike Tregg says the case started Sunday morning when a call came in about an infant not breathing. The coroner pronounced that infant dead on scene. An autopsy later revealed the baby had been killed by blunt force trauma, which resulted in Robinson's arrest and confession. And if something was wrong where the couldn't contain the baby. They could have brought her to me and I could have, you know, tried to do whatever I could. This neighbor who did not want to go on camera says she is devastated by the news and would have gladly helped Robinson if he had just brought the baby over to her. The sheriff agrees that he only wishes Robinson had called someone before it got to this point. It's hard to um, accept that someone would do that to a baby, especially the mother and be knowing that happened to her child. The sheriff added that there have been other cases involving the child being taken to the hospital and they are continuing to investigate how it got to this point. As for that neighbor, this whole situation is too much to handle. I dealt with kids all my life, 29 years of seven, and I know how to deal with babies, the older ones, the mental ones, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm used to dealing with them. And it's, it just hurt, hurt to know that a little baby lost her life. The sheriff says there was also a four-year-old in the house, but that child did not have any injuries. Reporting, Eli Brand, WDSU News.